respected the privilege. The 22 year rule of President Ferdinand Marcos is seen today as a brutal and divisive period in Philippine history. A people power revolution forced him out of office and into exile in 1986. But decades later, his son Ferdinand Marcos Jr., also known as Bongbong, Bong, is a front runner in this year's presidential election. My intention to run. It may seem surprising to many, but the political resurgence of the Marcoses didn't happen in an instant. Experts say the Marcoses have spent years using social media to rewrite history. Online memes like this. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinta Ardern praising Bongbong Marcos Jr. Or of the American basketball superstar Michael Jordan receiving a box of bread from the late president have dominated online chat groups. It's even said that the Marcoses will give away tons of gold bars and other treasure if Bongbong becomes president. Treasure that fact-checkers and journalists say does not exist. But the story has already spread widely on social media, even after Twitter announced last week that it has suspended hundreds of pro Marcus accounts. I think it's also important to consider the desperation of many poor Filipinos uh, and that desperation, economic and social, their needs. Uh, the pandemic has exacerbated that. And this is just the Marcos is exploiting that desperation, making Filipinos believe that there is a quick way out of poverty. Al Jazeera requested an interview with Mr. Marcos's campaign team. There was no response. The Marcos camp has repeatedly denied owning social media troll farms. Uh, we know that uh, social media has very low verifiability. The Philippines, once a shining star on democracy in Asia, is now called a backsliding country. The Philippines is the biggest Facebook user in Southeast Asia and the sixth in the world. Researchers say the higher a population's exposure to social media, the higher its vulnerability to disinformation. Disinformation, they say, has the power to obliterate the ability of people to distinguish what is real and what is not. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.